Come with me and you will see a little piece of history right before our eyes, you and me. Digging here and searching there, finding treasures. There. Be sure to check out Gypsy Jewel's website, www.gypsydigs.com. Can't get enough of the treasure that is Gypsy Jewel's? Join her and Amanda Digger Degas on podcast every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. The Treasure Vortex. You'll get pulled in with interviews, all conversations treasure, and prize giveaways. And just so you know, they treasure you too. Come with me and you will see a little piece of history Right before our eyes, you and me Digging here and searching there Finding treasures everywhere We'll spend the day like gypsies being free Come with me on this beautiful day Find pieces of the past in this journey of today Here at Bone. It's the second day. Wind is blowing like crazy. Brick wall right there. I'm over here with the Garrett AT Max and I just popped a coin and it looks like a penny size right here. Oh, that's an Indian. Indian. Oh, she's pretty too. I can't tell the date. Uh, let me zoom in for you. Let you look at the date. And I'll figure it out later. What does that say? 51? 1851? Woohoo! That's awesome. I'm excited. Alright, let's see what else we can find. Goodness, am I blind? This turned out to be an 1864 fatty Indian. The fatty Indians were a little thicker in diameter. They were made from 1854 to 1864. So a last year edition of a fatty Indian. Super excited because this was my very first fatty Indian. All right, I'm at Bone in New Hampshire and I've got the apex today hunting in multi-frequency than my very first signal. It was jumping a little, so I figured it could be trash. Um, but I just popped it, and I haven't picked it up yet. It fell out just like this. It looks like there's two pieces to it. And it looks like, I'm guessing, this is part of... Oh, man, I'm dropping part of it. Oh, oh, look at that gorgeous ornate ornateness beautiful i'm guessing the top part of a suspender clip um is what it's looking like to me but it's beautiful ornate and i love it we'll see you all on the next that's something too <laughs> she just turned around and she turned around like <gasps> maddie's over there Oh gosh, what did you? What? I think I found something new. Okay. So I just popped this out. It's a cool little lighter case thing. It could be silver and it looks like it's got turquoise in it. Yeah, it's got a cool little heart on the That back. is so cool. That is pretty cool. I've never found anything like that before. That's pretty neat. I love it. Let's yeah. go see what Maddie found. Let's see what, there she comes. Look. What'd you find? It is, but I'm excited. Oh my god. Oh, it's got a little, oh, it's like a clasp oh. or something. It's oh, got a little what head. in the world? I, I, got I would brush, watch, but I'm afraid to. It looks like there's two people oh, there. Look, flip it yeah, over. let's flip it over. Look. Yeah. Oh, what the heck cool. is that? Look. Like it was some sort of, almost like a brush. clip or something. Oh, let's see what this is. Be very gentle. It does have people on it. 
two people. It looks like holding a little basket. That's Daddy, really that cool. is amazing. Is that riding on the top? I can't oh, tell. Can't tell. We'll have to get yeah, some photos hard. of it. I don't. Sweet, we all found something like right it. at the shoot. I know. Like, boom. Oh, cool. That's, That's a, a cool lighter movie. holder. Yeah. I love this. Well, send me some photos. That is awesome. Yeah, that looks like it's gonna be a better day. <laughs> Way better. All right, we'll see y'all in the next. Yeah, that's an Bone twenty nine. So from way down in there, using the apex, I uh, just got this, and I'm not sure what it is. Is that a rain guide? It looks like a trigger guard or something. Maybe that's... Is that part of a gun? What is it? Do you know? A little investigation. I like it though. Very cool looking. Wait a minute. Bent like that on purpose. Okay. I will get back with you when I find out exactly what this is. I like it. Brass, I think. Let's see what else we can find. All right, Amanda Digger to Gaz has got her first really cool find. And looky here, she's got an Indian. And she Look popped the, the plug. It's like perfect. Oh, you can see the imprint down there. Almost looks like another coin. But yeah, let's pop that baby. Perfect plug. Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'll zoom in. You can let me know what date. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check it. It's after 1864, that's for sure. Nice. Oh, that's actually in pretty good shape. It is. Uh, yeah, let's do one swipe. 1899. 1899. Or it looks like 1899, but it could be 1895. We'll find out for sure and let you know. Awesome find. Hey, yeah. Way to go. Awesome. Boom. Yes. Hey, I'm here with my new friend, Aaron. Hello. And uh, we're both using the Apex today. Mm -hmm. And this is my third pretty cool target. And I just popped this from way down in there. It took me a while to get it. I had to take out the hand digger. And it looks like a dandy button. Let's just do a wipe here. Oh, look at that design. Stop. Oh, that is beautiful. That's gorgeous. One wipe. Oh, wow. That is the prettiest one I've ever found. Absolutely. Oh. Nice find. Thank you. Congrats. I'm excited. Sweet. All right, folks. We'll see you on the next. Sounded good. Digging some oopsie tops. All right, folks, we're looking for the old stuff, not the trash. Let's see what else we can find. All right, from right in there, I just pulled this. Looks like an old pocket watch back. Seeing if there's any design. It's a good part of the root growing through it. Don't see any design, but it's cool. Sweet. Now if we can find the rest of the pocket watch. Awesome find. Let's see what else we can find. All right. Apex found me something else. Right here. Looks like a keyhole. Very cool. Wonder what that went to. An old lock, an old door, an old chest. I don't know. Cool though. 
Let's see what else we can find. From down in there, I just pulled this. It looks like another pocket watch piece. This one may have some design on it, I can't tell. I don't know. Maybe there's some writing inside. We'll get it cleaned up. Have some photos. I'll see if there's any writing. But cool, fine. Let's see what else we can find. All right, folks. Up here on the side of the hill, using the apex. I just got this 84 signal down here, but it was way down in this corner, and I popped it out, and it looks like some type of largey. Yeah, I see one cent on the back. So let's see if we can get any detail off the front. Can you make out anything? It's that way, it'd be right here. 1829, maybe? Is it 1829? Might be. see the bust. Yep, I see the bust. All right, we'll see if we can find out what date, but awesome find. I'm really excited. We'll see you all on the next. All right, we cleaned it off a little, and they zoomed in there, and we're, we're saying it's 1820. I am really happy about that. Let's find some more of this. Well, I, my car is right there. I was standing next to my car and I was chatting with all of these people. And it turns out all of the good stuff is right here next to the car. So I decided to stay, they convinced me. And I found my first uh, old coin of the day. The day's almost over. Um, but what we have, I think, is a great bust. Larson. Uh, Gypsy's here, you found I just got a 1820 cornet. 1820. So this one. Way older. Do you see the date at the bottom? Yeah. 1805, it looks 1805. like. 1805. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it was very deep, but you know, it is right here. You just never know. Lot. You never know. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, thank you for convincing me to stay, Gypsy. Hey, <laughs> you're welcome. You were one of those who were saying this is the good spot, so. Awesome, Brad. Congrats. Thank you. Well, this hillside right next to the cars continues to pay off. I don't know why I didn't start the day right here. Two coins and now a piece of jewelry. It is a small cross and it looks like... Interesting. It looks like maybe there's a hole at the top. Huh. I'm not sure. It looks like maybe it was just hollow. I can't tell if that's dirt or... Yeah, that's just dirt. But yeah, a little... Cross. Necklace. Hi, Scott. <laughs> Scott's also convinced me to stay here. And I'm glad I did. Because nice. I've been... Uh, We're glad you did, too. Having a lot of success right here. I just dug up this real cool little pendant. Yeah. Not really sure what it is. It's got the letter D in the middle. Yeah. It looks like it even has maybe a, a little, little gold loop gilding. up here. Yeah. Up, up here, maybe that was holding on. I don't know. That is too cool. Uh, I like finding these baby bobs. Yeah. And she's using the Garrett Ace. Ace I mean, a Ace Apex. Apex. Yeah. With the uh, which coil is at the Raider? Um, I've got the Raider coil, the double D. Awesome. That's giving you some depth a bit. Yep. Awesome. And yeah, this is Aaron, by the way, that, way uh, Aaron that was holding the camera earlier for me. Yeah. And we've got Raven over here. Don't put me on. <laughs> she, <laughs> she's fun. doing all kinds of great photos today. All right, congrats. Thanks. Let me see it next. Time. All 
Alright, we've got Amanda Digger to guys and a lot of wind. She's about to fly away with this little pendant thingy. Uh, looks like an eagle. Maybe a Harley Davidson logo on it. I'm not sure. It looks modern. I heard that there was some modern day uh, Boy Scout camping stuff done here too. So, could be from that. But nevertheless, I love it. Maybe it's some cool. I'll take it. Yeah, awesome. We'll see you on the next. Here on the hill, there's an old foundation over there. Digger the gauze is right there, digging something, and I just got this. See something around down in there? Looks like a button, maybe. Yeah. Sweet. Nice little flat button with shank. Awesome. Let's see if we can find some more of these. Cool find. On to the next. Have you been considering purchasing a new metal detector or adding to your treasure hunting supplies? Consult the expert. Gypsy Jewels is glad to guide you. Visit The Digger's Den at www.ddetectors.com. Please use promo code GYPSY, all caps, when placing online orders. Gypsy Jewels looks forward to guiding you to the best tool or tools to meet your treasure-seeking needs.